Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your explorer.exe is not starting with your Windows. So with this, what will happen is if your explorer.exe is not starting with your Windows, the taskbar may not appear in your Windows when you're whenever you're starting your Windows. Now, there are a couple of steps uh, to fix this issue. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you is to press Control Shift Escape to open the task manager on your computer screen. So this is the shortcut key to open the task manager once you have the task manager what you need to do is uh, you will have to click on file in case if you have the older version of task manager otherwise you would see an option which says run new task in the run new task you may go ahead and type explorer.exe and then click on ok and this should bring back your explorer on your computer now in case if explorer is back well and good you don't have to worry now in spite of this if you still don't see explorer.exe the next step is to make some registry changes to do this what you will have to do is you will have to press windows and letter r simultaneously on your keyboard to open the run window once you have the run window you may go ahead and type reg edit and click on ok in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the registry editor open you will have to go ahead and locate for key local machine expand H key local machine and then expand software under software go ahead and look for Microsoft it would be in alphabetical order expand Microsoft and then expand for Windows NT so it would be in alphabetical order so it is not Windows it is Windows NT go ahead and expand Windows NT and then expand current version under current version you will have to go ahead and look for win logon so this is the key which you will have to look for win w i n l o g o n now once you have selected windows logon on the right hand side you will see the bunch of sub keys under this you will have to go ahead and locate for shell so double click on shell and once you double click on shell you have to make sure the value data for shell is been set to explorer.exe make sure the spellings are correct e-x-p-l-o-r-e-r dot -E e-x-e once you have these value click on ok and at the same time you can also make sure the user int data has been set to the one which is uh, on the screen so you can do a dub do a right click click on modify make sure the value has been set to c colon slash windows slash system 32 slash user int dot exe dot once you have these exact values you may go ahead and click on ok close the registry editor once you close the registry editor restart your computer and check if you are able to get plural dot exe on your computer now in spite of all this step and if you are still facing a problem the next step is to uh, run the sfc scan to do this in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt or you, or else you can press windows and letter r on your keyboard to open the run command in the run command you may go ahead and type cmd and click on ok once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter with this, it will go ahead and run the integrity test and see if there are any issues related to your Windows DLL file. So in case if there are any issues, it will try to go ahead and fix by itself. Once all the processes are completed, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, you should have your explorer.exe with your window. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.